Hello friends, this is Chetan from Chetty Networks, where statistics lives. Today let us discuss about uh, solutions of uh, statistics part 2 of KSET 2000. On rainfall for the month of 2016 is available for Bangalore city. Which one of the following test is most appropriate when the distribution of the rainfall is random? So you know that uh, if the distribution of uh, any data is random, then to test that randomness you use run test. So option is A. And let's move to next question. If uh, let x have uh, a exponential distribution with pdf f of x lambda equal, equals e power minus lambda x, x greater than 0, lambda greater than 0, then the pth quantile 0 less than p less than 1 of a random variable x. Uh, so here uh, I want to note you one thing is that uh, let x follow exponential distribution with pdf f of x lambda the pdf of uh, exponential distribution is wrong here so you may expect a grace marks for uh, this question because pdf of exponential distribution is lambda into e power minus lambda x here lambda this term lambda is missing here so i have solved uh, taking the proper uh, pdf function see here it is see this is lambda into e power minus lambda x this is the pdf of exponential distribution so I have right, uh, wrote it here itself again. See it, here it, it has given as e power minus lambda x. Lambda is missing here. So you may rise and you may get grace marks here. Let us see. Okay. So what do you mean by pth quantile? See probability of x less than or equal to x should be equal to p. If p equals 1 by 2 then this x is median. Okay. Pth quantile means let us take it p and p less uh, lies between 0 and 1. So 0 to x f of t dt. Uh, equals p okay you, you want to find this x here okay 0 to x uh, what is the pdf given here lambda into e power minus lambda t into dt uh, equals p okay solve for uh, uh, just a simple integration lambda into e power minus lambda t this lambda is a constant here so minus lambda and this lambda and this lambda will cancel out so this equals p in so 1 minus lambda 1 minus e power minus lambda x equal to p so solve for x so you will get this answer is d but uh, since the pdf uh, given is wrong there you can expect a grace or else let's see what it happens to x 0 less than x less than 1 uh, you refer this exact question in your question paper uh, we have a pdf uh, see uh, that uh, what he has asked is uh, what is the distribution of median okay uh, so before finding the median and then uh, solving what is the pdf of median you just use a simple concept here that for any pdf probability uh, density function or probability mass function whatever it may be this uh, the overall sum of the probability should be equals to 1 so here lower limit of f of x dx to the upper limit of f of x dx here lower limit is x ranges from 0 to 1 so you integrate uh, the density function from 0 to 1 and if the answer should be equals to 1 so if that is true then uh, that that will be a pdf if uh, the equals to, if equals to 1 this does not hold then pdf will not that is that is not uh, called as a pdf okay uh, and check uh, the options there so our, our right answer is b okay let's move to next question 71 I have said the answer is uh, this exponential distribution it's a straight product question and let's move to next 70th question let xn be a sequence of independent random variables such that probability of xn equal xn equals n equals 1 by 2 power n square and uh, if it is taking the value minus n it is also the same probability if it is taking 0 then 1 by n minus uh, 1 minus 1 by n square n running from 1 2 3 so on okay so he has asked the property of weak law of large numbers and strong law of large numbers. So for us uh, uh, see what is the weak law and strong law? If uh, any random variable x is converging to its mean mu in probability then that is called as weak law. And uh, if it is converging with the sure one that is almost sure convergence is there or with the probability one then that is strong law. Okay, so before solving, let us take the expectation. See, probability of xn equals n is. See, I have written this in terms of this. So xn is defined as to xn will take the value n with the probability two by n square, and xn will take the value zero. 
okay with the probability 1 minus 1 by n square okay and xn will take the value minus n with the probability 1 by 2 n square so uh, let us take the expectation so what is expectation summation of x into p of x okay here n into probability of this plus 0 into probability of this and plus minus n into probability of this so the expectation is 0 okay and then let us take the variance so to before going for variance uh, we need expectation of x square so square this n square into probability of this it is 1 by 2 n square that is 1 by 2 0 square is 0 so 0 and anything is 0 minus n whole square is this is plus n square n square into this this n square and this n square will cancel it is 1 by 2 okay uh, so after solving we will get 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 that is equals to 1 and variance of xn is expectation of xn square minus expectation of x whole square since this term is 0 the variance of xn is 1 so how to find uh, whether this uh, holds a weak last angle the conditions are the expectation of xi should exist for all i since it is 0 it is existing for all i and uh, so bn upon n square should tend to 0 as n tends to infinity what is bn bn is nothing but variance of summation of xi okay so variance of x1 is 1 plus 1 plus 1 up to it will be added n times so variance of this is n so n upon n square what is bn sum of variances okay so it is n by n square so 1 upon n this will tend to 0 as n tends to infinity therefore weak of large number holds okay and uh, from the theorem uh, there is a theorem from that theorem you can recall that if this variance of xn this is less than infinity means if this is finite then this xn minus expectation of xn will converge almost surely okay by hold uh, by taking that property you can say that this will hold strong of large number also okay uh, let's move to then answer is a let's move to next question question number 76 here okay here it is 73 okay he has asked about the completeness uh, let f theta of x where theta belongs to parametric space be a family of pdf or pmf we say that this family is complete if so which one of the following is not complete he has asked there so so first uh, first let us know what is completeness if you take the expectation of a uh, function that is statistic g of x under theta if this equals to 0 then proud that this x the g of x equals to 0 is 1 okay it, it's mean that if g of x should be equal to 0 x if you take the expectation of this to be equal to 0 then this means that this g of x itself should be 0 okay that is proud that d of check uh, g of x will take the value 0 the, the product of this is 1 okay uh, let's take a simple example here x follows uniform 0 theta okay you want to check whether this is complete or not okay this family is complete or not so let us take expectation of g of x so expectation of g of x is 0 to theta because the range is 0 to theta uh, g of x f of x dx what is f of x dx it is 1 by theta 1 by theta dx and you are taking you are equating this to 0 okay and uh, this 1 by theta is constant because it is indep independent of x so it will go and 0 to theta g of x dx so if this should be equal to 0 then g of x must be 0 there is no other go okay if g of x is 0 then this will hold otherwise this will not hold so that is what is given here the probability that g of x takes the value 0 is 1 okay it will take the value 0 is 1 means g of x is equals to 0 okay and this should hold for all theta see so whatever value of theta you, you take here it will hold okay so therefore uniform zero theta is complete similarly you can verify for normal theta one where theta theta is a mean here uh, this is also complete and poison lambda this is also complete okay but when you take uh, this uh, family normal zero theta where theta greater than zero this is not complete why this is not complete because since expectation of x is zero here this is zero g of x equal to x this is not identically zero so answer is c okay let's move to next question given the hazard rate r of t lambda alpha t to the power alpha minus 1 t greater than 0 lambda greater than 0 alpha greater than 1 what is the corresponding pdf 
so you have to calculate the answer for this so which of the following uh, first let us see what do you mean by hazard rate so hazard rate can be given by it is f of t divided by f bar of t okay f of t means the density function f bar of t means the reliability of that so uh, let's take the first option this is f of t is given like this so calculate f of t capital f of t what is capital f of t it is uh, probability that t less than equal to t this is the distribution function this is the density function okay so integrate from 0 to t this function so take x power alpha equal to u so differentiate this alpha x to the power alpha minus 1 dx equal to du so whenever x takes the value 0 u takes the 0 and whenever x takes the value t u takes t t to the power alpha so substitute this in uh, this equation to integrate so you will get 1 minus e power minus lambda t the alpha. So f bar of t is 1 minus of this. 1 minus of this means this. So this is the second equation. This is f bar of t. And f of t is, uh, we have take, we have considered the option number 1. So f of t divided by f bar of t is lambda alpha t to the power alpha minus. So answer is a. If this is not true, then you have to go for second option, third option, fourth option. This is uh, uh, quite cumbersome. You may not get uh, this easily or directly. There is no formula. So you have to go by this method only okay and uh, last question of uh, this part is question number 91 it's a straightforward question if you know the results you can solve it easily uh, if x comma y has a probability mass function it is by variate means there are two variables with the probability of x equal to k and y equal to l equals n factorial k divided by k factorial l factorial n minus k minus l factorial 1 by 4 power k 1 by 3 power l 5 by 12 to the power n minus k minus l and uh, k comma l takes the value 0 to n k plus l is less than n then what is the conditional distribution so you may always expect the questions on conditional distribution in csr net as well as k set okay the answer is say oh, we have given this is the general form if this is the case then uh, probability of x given x equal to x given y equal to y this is given by this is directly means uh, if you remember the result this follows binomial distribution with n minus i comma p1 by n minus p2 here p1 is this p2 is this and p3 is this okay and sum of p equals to 1 here uh, this, these are the conditions okay then uh, he, has, he has asked for y equals to 1 here so what is what is the condition given y equals to 1 so when you take the value of y equal to 1 n minus 1 what is p1 this is p1 and what is p2 this is p2 so substitute and get answer is a so this is for it uh, please watch all other videos which i have uploaded uh, thank you friends thank you for watching my video have a nice day